kind of difficulties did you encounter? We had problems remelting the slags since the very start at Moldovian Metallurgical Plant. Our water-cooled casings burned out, our gas-oxygen torches burned out, we had a lot of trouble, all kinds of unexpected things. But throughout the process we managed to understand the problem, change our ways using all kinds of know-how methods, all kinds of different techniques that allowed us reduce and rid of all the negative consequences at the Moldovian metallurgical plant. What seemed to be the first major problem and how it was solved? Well, first of all, we changed the melt blending technology. We changed the power load on the controller and the gas burner. So we had to work with the power management a lot. So what was the result? And what proportions of slag and scrap did you get? At the Moldovian metallurgical plant, we were able to process around 40 tons of slag. So we made about 30%. What about energy consumption? Did you start spending more on the gas burner devices? We noticed that when melting one ton of slag, the general energy consumption increases by 2 kilowatt hours, which is something about 30% of the overall amount. Where else did you apply this technique and what was the result? The same technique was applied at the Nizhny Sergensky hardware metallurgical plant from the year 2007 till 2008. As we all know, it was the time when the crisis struck. So the foundry couldn't get enough scrap, which is why we were forced to remelt large quantities of slag. 60 tons of high-quality slag was considered successful blending using Fox 120 electric arc furnace we got 50% blending 